Hello. Today, I'm going to be checking out Ravenous Devils, which is uh, it's a game I've had on my wish list for a little while, and I saw that there was a demo. And so I was like, a, a free demo? Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> So, Ravenous Devils, according to um, Steam, is a horror cooking simulator where the secret ingredient is crime. We get to improve our shops, buy new tools, expand our menu, and all above, make customers happy. So, it sounds alright. <laughs> so, let's see how we go. All right, these must be our save slots. So we're going to start on day zero. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We have decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices due to sheer hunger or simply because it tastes so delicious human flesh is highly appreciated we do not know the reason why and we don't really care ah uh, but don't worry we don't waste anything even their clothes are cleverly reused by percival they just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right, and earn as much money as we can. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so. That kind of set the scene, didn't it? We have a tailor's shop. And we also have a, a kitchen where we cook things. So we're running out of meat fast. The people in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. All right, let's grab this poor wrench. Sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. Now I need to throw the corpse through the trap door, and it'll be in the kitchen in no time. Ta-da! Finally, fresh meat. The trap door is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. Now it's time to grind. I guess we're going over to the grinder. In he goes. Suddenly 
definitely, definitely a little bit messy. Jeez. I should look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. Okay. So we can make meat to make patties. Or we've got the mince meat and flour, some sort, to make the pies. All right, let's go back. Well, I'll need flour and mince meat to make a delicious meat pie. I can already smell it cooking. All right, so let's take some mince. Put it in the pie. We'll take the flour and we'll put it in the pie. And all set for cooking. So we take the tray and we go put it in the oven. Baking time. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or we could fix these two other ovens, though we'd need more money for that. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out. So the display stand is empty. So I'll place these meat pies on there. This way customers will be able to serve themselves. All right. Off you go. Look at that. All right, we're all set up. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up that mess on the floor. Take a look. We're upstairs. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one came up here until... No one can come up here until there is no blood left on the floor. So let's get a mop and clean it up. Good job. I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in exposition isn't dressed. I could patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them. At a steep price, of course. Waste not, want not. This may be a humble shop, but I am a professional. Back to business. Let's take the stolen cloth from that pile. Now it's time to get this new sewing machine a whirl. It's not going very fast, but I can wait. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. The clothes are finally ready. Let's go put them on the mannequin. I feel like every time I click, like blood squirts out, but everything seems to be set. Now we can welcome our customers. Open up the shops. My dear customers, please come inside. Take what you desire. It's lucky I have filled the display stand. Otherwise, they'd be waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh. It seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind to do the best job that you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. All right. Can I go and make something while I'm waiting? No? Okay. I will... I will wait. Good job we cleaned up that blood. Now we're alone, I can provide Hildred with some more meat. I just cleaned that floor, damn it. I'll take these clothes, they won't be needing them anymore and let's throw the corpse down into the kitchen.
More clients coming. We must be ready. Okay, get the mop. And let's clean that up. Okay. Should we make some more clothes? No, pick up the body and put it in the mince, the mincer. A pie or a... Okay, so our objectives are here. So we're gonna go back and kill this guy. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. There's blood everywhere. All right, she bought that and she she left. Moving there. Oh, this lady needs. As fast as I can. No, put the put it down. Go put that in the oven. Baking time. While we're waiting, put him in there. <laughs> oh, I can't. There's no try. Put it back. Oh, is the pie ready? The pie is ready. Let's as go. As I can. These people aren't very happy. Oh no! She got angry and she left. Can I go pick this up and put this on here? No, lady, don't leave! Do this, go do that. No. She wasn't very happy. I wonder if I can burn a pie. Oh, she's not happy either. Oh, this multitasking. Let's go. Oh, nope, she's, she's gone. <laughs> All right, we'll get that pie sorted. Looks like we're murdering this lady. The dude just walked in. Is he gonna buy the clothes or is he coming in the back? Hot. All right, go put that out there, and then let's go see her, and let's make another pie. Got to make all that money. Sorry, buddy. All right, still need to clear, to clear. We still need to kill one more person as well. But right now, let's clean up this blood. Take this pie out. That smells so good. I don't know. If we put this on there, will it stack? Oh, it's all gone now anyway. More clothes while we 
get familiar with this lady. Pick up this one. Oh, we're done. Maybe. Okay, starting over is never easy. There are lots of improvements we need to be made. I wrote a list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way, we will serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Can I? No, I can go. Upgrades! Okay, so we can... We already have the meat grinder. Oh, look at our reputation. It's, we, we've had two bad orders. That was my fault. Ooh, there are different skins. We can dress up for Halloween. Okay. Um, we've got flour. We can upgrade the workbench, the oven, the oven speed. Okay, these are all locked, but we can. We can do another oven. Now we have no money. Oh, we have a greenhouse as well. Okay. Let's get stuff ready. Dude, you need to. Get that sorted. The skins are cool. All right. Now we seem quite fitting for the season since it is spooktober. Alright, let's go get this body and we'll grind this one up as well. Yummy. As I don't know if I can. As fast as I can. This time. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a second oven tray. So I've got two ovens and that's it. <clears throat> we don't have a tray to clean. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna put this down. So we've got another pie ready. We've got some clothes ready. Oh, we already have clothes ready here as well. Let's open our shop. Let's see what we have to do today. Wait patiently. Do we have any other recipes? No. Maybe I shouldn't have bought an oven straight off the bat. Maybe that was a bad decision on my part. Oh, we have a guy. He's buying some pie. We're raking it in. We now have a one pound and 40 cents. lady is gonna buy this maybe she like it she does she likey likey let's go put this over here I like this color I like this color we'll put some more on and then let's see about this guy just absolutely slaughtered All right, we can take this pie upstairs to here now. That can go down. Now 
we can mop up. And we can make another pie. I don't know if they can stack. Maybe I should see if, uh, let's. Oh, we can just put him down, like leaning up against the wall. Let's take some meat, flour, and let's put this in the oven. We'll put this back. It is really warm in there. You should take your clothes off and save me the job. Another pie ready. Got another body ready. <laughs> I like the way it's just like rips the clothes off and he's just like throws it over his shoulder. pie these pies the the flying out the door they're so popular as fast as I can can I store the clothes anywhere <clears throat> put this cloth on the mannequin okay well hopefully this guy buys what's on the mannequin there we go. Perfect time. This is a masterpiece. Let's make some more clothes. And we also need to take another pie upstairs. Now we can see if we... I just, just murder them. Can you imagine? Every... Every person that comes to be fitted ends up getting fitted into the grinder. These are our last clients for the day. I'm guessing that they were happy because they got pie. The bodies do stack. I'd better check today's earnings. I hope all our clients were satisfied with our work. This way, word will spread and our shop's reputation will improve. That alone is not enough, though. We should probably buy some new work tools. I'm sure even well-known people will visit our shops then. All right, our, our reputation is increasing and we've made a daily profit of 24 pounds. So I reckon we should get another mannequin. Another mannequin is 30, though. And another display is 25. We don't have enough for either of those. We could increase the oven speed. Oh, we could get another workbench. Let's get the workbench. Because then we might get the next tray. Maybe. We need to mop up this... We've got a couple of bodies, so maybe we should grind some of these up as well. Then we'd almost be full on meat. Okay, next one. And shove that one in there too. And this guy, we can... Did I not get another ma- Oh, no, I didn't get another mannequin. Okay, put that back. So at the moment, we can't make any more clothes. But we can prep two pies. 
we have we have a little bit there at the moment so let's open our shop early a letter just arrived we moved here not long ago no one should know us who may have sent this did you tell anyone about our departure silence let me read Someone knows our secret. <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! Is that the end of the demo? That is the end of the demo. <laughs> so what can we expect in the final game? A dark main storyline and secondary quests. New tools, the greenhouse, character skins, and achievements. And delicious new recipes to cook. Well, I quite liked that. I like the, the time management aspect, like, and having to do to do things and lots of things at the same time, and the whole multitasking thing, and It's got me interested. But thank you for checking out Ravenous Devils with me. And I will see you guys again soon. If you guys have got any feedback, if there's any games that you would like me to check out, um, or um, if you would like to subscribe, there's a button for that. But I will see you guys again soon.